French colonized Vietnam just under a hundred years. Now one of the greatest things that they left behind was coffee. Every street corner there's a cafe. The coffee culture in Vietnam is huge and I would have one of these cups every single day. Now what we do is we have really nice thick and sweet condensed milk. One of my favorite things. You need to put around two teaspoons of that into the bottom of the glass. But if you don't like it too sweet, you can use one, but I like a lot of it. Look at that. Lick your finger after you do that. This cute little coffee filter here. And for me in the morning, it's more like a coffee ritual. I just love packing the coffee, pouring the water in there, and just sitting there watching it drip slowly. And the perfect end is a nice, strong, addictive cup of coffee. So I'm going to put a few teaspoons of that in. Jeez, it's smelling really, really caramel, nutty. And you need to pack it. You need to pack the coffee down like that. And pour in some hot water. And it slowly drips down. Once the hot water goes in, you sit back, relax, read your paper. Or you can just sit there and just watch it drip. Amazing. Now once it's finished dripping, you take the lid off onto your bench, pop your filter onto the lid. Now this is called Gafe Sunom, which is a hot Vietnamese coffee. If it's really hot out there and you want something really refreshing, throw it in some ice and shake it up. Stir it up. Smells divine. Mm. That is absolutely beautiful. Vietnamese coffee with condensed milk.